What's up everybody? I hope all of you are having an awesome day. My name is Sebastian and I'm going to be showing you one of the properties of Congan water which is the mycoclustering effect. And I'm also going to be explaining why molecular hydration is so important to our bodies. Have you ever felt bloated after drinking a lot of water? I know I have. And I had a love and hate relationship because every time I drink a lot of water I, I would feel bloated and I would feel heavy and I wouldn't drink it anymore. But I love water until I found out about Kangen water. And I'm gonna be showing you and explaining why you don't get the bloated feeling after drinking Kangen water. What you need to understand is that we're made up of millions of cells. And those cells have little pathways called aquaporins. Those pathways allow seven water molecules to go through to hydrate the cell. Regular tap and bottled water has between 15 and 25 groups of molecules and Kangen water has between four and six. That means when you drink tap and bottled water, you feel bloated because you're drinking and it's just going straight down to your stomach and just sitting there until you go to the bathroom. Kangen water, on the other hand, once you start drinking it, it hydrates your brain in 30 seconds and it starts penetrating your, your cells through your esophagus so it barely gets to the stomach. That's how powerful Kangen water is. So to put things in perspective, I have some azúcar, 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 some metal nuts, and I also have a strainer. The strainer is gonna represent our cells, and the holes in the strainer are gonna represent the aquaporins in the cell, okay? The sugar is gonna represent kangen water, and the metal nuts is gonna represent tap bottled water. So let's see what happens when you drink regular tap and bottled water. Well, well, would you look at that? the nuts didn't go through. This is what's happening when you drink regular water. The water molecules are so big that they're not able to penetrate the aquaporins of the cells, meaning you're not actually getting hydrated. Let's see what happens when you drink Kangen water. Just like we expected, most of the sugar went through the strain and this is showing you how Kangen water is able to penetrate our cells. Do you know why you need to heat up the water to make tea? It's because when you heat in the water, the water molecules are actually shrinking so it can penetrate the tea bag. But what if I tell you you can make tea at room temperature with Kangen water? And it's because the water molecules in Kangen water are so small that it's able to penetrate the tea bag. And this basically shows how it's able to penetrate our cells. So I got tea. So not only you can make tea at room temperature with Kangen water, but you're actually getting hydrated at a cellular level. And there's a reason behind that. Kangen water contains molecular hydrogen. Hydrogen is the lightest element in the periodic table and it's able to penetrate anything. That is why when you intake this water, it is able to penetrate our cells. How's the health of your cells? Stay hydrated. Mm -hmm.